I'm Michael Thompson and uh, I've been a teacher at Arana for 15 years. Uh, I teach currently a primary school cycle. I'm halfway through, so I've got a group of beautiful Year 4 children and uh, we're enjoying that side of the curriculum in Year 4. Uh, there's lots of activities, there's lots of practical uh, projects that we do, but uh, we're also taking care of basic skills as, as we go, learning through doing. One of the great things about uh, having had such a musical upbringing and being involved in a maker's culture of, of making music is uh, I can bring that into the classroom and uh, there's no shortage of great songs and dances and clapping games that relate to different areas of the curriculum that, that children cover at different years. Uh, children love to sing, they love the revelation of being able to sing in harmony, to make rhythms, to move their bodies in time with, with uh, the music. And they love uh, funny songs and tragic songs and songs that are just fun to play. Uh, so I use my experience in music a lot in the classroom. Uh, every morning we start with, well, it's supposed to be 15 minutes, but it always turns into half an hour of music and dance, uh, different songs that I bring in and the children just pick it up very, very quickly and uh, I feel like I'm giving them uh, something, a store of songs and verses and music that they can carry with them through the rest of their life and, and remember snatches of those, those songs uh, even when they're grown up and have children of their own. I've had a, a really interesting experience in my teaching career at the school. Uh, I have done uh, three part cycles and am engaged in a full cycle right now. Uh, and one of the wonderful things about being around children for longer than a year is you get to build up a much deeper, more nuanced and subtle relationship with the child, but also with their family and their, their family context. Uh, and so in a lot of ways, being a teacher is a little bit like being a parent. Uh, there are times when children present challenging behaviours or their family context is very difficult, but it's not an option for a teacher to just bail out of that relationship and pass the child on to the next teacher. It's really beholden on the teacher to work with the parents uh, and to work with the child uh, to get through whatever the, the issue might be. So parents can't trade in their children when they have a, when they have a disagreement with them. They need to plug on and, and find a solution that's going to last for the long term. So I think that's a real, uh, a very positive side of this approach that we have in Steiner schools of a class teacher working with students over a long period of time. Uh, you get past caricaturing a, a student or, or being able to uh, say, oh, that one's a troublemaker, I'm glad that I'll get to the end of the year and pass that on to somebody else. You need to work with that child and their family in the, in the longer term and you build a much stronger set of relationships. Every child is so different, uh, their family contexts are very different and I think uh, one of the things that we are able to build in a Steiner school is a much more nuanced understanding of the child's relationship with their parents and we're able to work with the parents over a longer period of time to resolve an issue. So uh, oftentimes uh, issues like uh, social issues within children's groups, uh, bullying, uh, school reluctance to come to school, uh, difficulty in doing a, a particular skill set in, in the work of the curriculum, uh, will take something more than a knee-jerk response. And th those longer-term, more subtle responses really require all of the caregivers of a child to be on board, and they require a, a, a longer strategy for the teacher to work with the parents and the parents to work with the teacher. Uh, if there is a personality clash between a teacher and a student, uh, it's much less likely in a Steiner School context for uh, the student to be punished out of that behaviour. It's much more likely that because the, the teacher knows the parents by, by their first names, they've had a relationship over years, it's much easier for a Steiner School teacher to pick up the phone and talk to the parents as real, rounded people and organise a series of interviews or interventions uh, where the school can uh, work with the parents so that the child feels held and uh, 
their issue is, is resolved in the longer term.